it was a long process, you know what I mean? It's, it's a long time coming, probably eight years in the game. I've been through the dirts, I've been through doing teen nights, getting jerked on my money. I've been through uh, just, you know, different conflict with artists and, and dealing with all types of things. So with that being said, it's definitely been something that has been a, a, an uphill battle. And I guess anytime that you approach the music industry or anything at that, you know, as far as DJing or just the entertainment business, it's definitely something that you want to uh, take on with a lot of emphasis and heart, moment, you know, momentum from your heart, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it's definitely not gonna be something that you're gonna succeed at. It's, it's a lot of fake and jacks, you know what I'm saying? And by fake and jacks, I mean individuals who fake the funk, um, you know, portray roles, you know, a lot of people that uh, like to appear as if, you know, they're in a position that they're not. And with that being said, you know, one thing that I have to advise any DJ out there is to definitely get your money up front. <laughs> Sign your contracts, do what you gotta do. Um, just anyone who isn't, for instance, willing to accommodate you legally, it's probably going to jerk you at the end of the day. Figure there's people in the crowd. Anytime that I'm entertaining a venue or an environment, there'll be one or two people that I pick in the crowd. And I can feel their emotion. I can sense that flavor. So with that being said, it's like if I could touch one person in the crowd, then that's a great moment for me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do. I want to be able to share, um, you know, a positive experience for anyone that ever comes to a venue in which I'm entertaining the crowd. Can you tell me a little bit more about this Million DJ March? The Million DJ March is scheduled to take place in August of 2008. Uh, we're trying to bring a million DJs together, a worldwide collective of DJs to come together to basically spark the flame that will set the fire across the board to create things like DJ uh, trade labor unions and figure, for instance, why is there no category for the DJ at the Grammys for every artist? that is successful, there's been the first DJ that broke their record and DJ that's carried them throughout their careers through their good times and bad. Although, for some reason, uh, the RIAA wants to come down on DJs for mixtapes and things of that nature. And the DJ has always helped the artists. A lot of the artists get the recognition all the time. So just different things we want to really structure for the DJ. We want to create a lot of momentum behind us because we are the true taste makers within the music industry. AOL Radio, uh, doing the college radio thing, 88.9 FM. I'm on the M spot on the Sprint and Nextel cellular phones, teaching at Scratch DJ Academy, freelance over there every now and then. Uh, just basically being on the road and just doing different shows, national director of artist relations for the almighty bum squad djs we are the number one camp in the world okay so if you got it twisted please ask somebody to do a google search we go from new york to la to croatia and then some and uh, you know just basically structuring different things for that collective is a great thing for me and i'm on the road with them